Hi, um, this is Annette from Four Horns Farm. Um, I just wanted to uh, shout out my cousin's um, channel. Her name, her channel is called Cooking with Tip. Um, there's some other channels that she shouts out as well. So definitely please go take a look at her channel. It's a cooking channel. We are going to do a collab at some point. Um, she is going to come and cook the food that I grow. So that'll be fun, right? All right, so I wanted to show you one of my other beds in just a little bit more detail. This is a crimson purple carrot. I love the color. Look at that. This is beautiful. And here's another one that I pulled up. It's split open a little bit. We're not going to talk about what that looks like. It looks like a carrot that's split open. <laughs> Let's just turn it over. Uh, but yeah, they're beautiful, very healthy, getting nice and big. Um, I haven't harvested from the carrots in a while. Like this section right here is crimson purple. Okay. And let's walk around here. This section right here was little finger. Variety of carrots. Let's see what we can pull up right here on the edge. So they're kind of, I was trying to thin them a little bit because, well, you know, carrots won't get big if you crowd, let them crowd. But here's a little finger. And the reason that I planted these was because I really wanted my children to have food in the garden. They can just go pick when they're hungry, go rinse it off with the hose and eat. So it's a small carrot, like maybe three, four inches. This one's about five from the stem to the tip of the root. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful carrots and so sweet. So, so sweet. Here's another one I think is might be a good one. A good size. Oh, look at that surprise. It's a white carrot. That's a pleasant surprise. I planted the white carrots like maybe a few weeks after, but all of these have been in this bed since November of 2018. So they've been in here a while and I'm just trying to be patient. We had a little damage from the rabbit, but I'm trying to be patient and let them get big, but they might not. Oh, here I got a strawberry. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a little blush on it. Wait patiently on that too. So let's see what else we have in this bed. Another white carrot. This right here is salsify. And um, I was trying not to pull these up. Their tap roots are super deep. So when I do pull on them, they break. And this is a pop choy that's going to seed. I'm walking in front of the... I got a shadow. Sorry. Um, a pop choy that's going to seed. These are the flowers of Ethiopian kale. Beautiful little flowers. They are beautiful. And they are going to seed as well. So this is the one I want the seeds from. I like I will keep the seeds from all of them, but this one right here. Do you see how this kale has a green stem? This one has a purple stem. This one bolted first. So while I will plant those seeds, I want the seeds from this one that bolted last. I want that slow bolt, healthy, look at pretty green leaves with that red coloring in them. That's really healthy, those anthocyanins. Yes, I do watch. Um, uh, sorry, I forgot the name of this channel. I've been for very forgetful lately. Please forgive me. Um, Growing Your Greens with John Kohler. So, do watch a lot of videos of his. Um, and I'm also inspired. Who am I inspired by? Yeah, that's a good um, topic for my video. Um, I am inspired by Cheryl from Cheryl's Organic Food Forest. 
Like I've been getting so much encouragement. Um, Patricia in Cube. So I'm very inspired by a lot of YouTubers who also garden. These are Parisian carrots. They look like little <laughs> they look like little marbles almost. But what I like about these is that when you put them in a stew, you don't even have to cut them up. Just put them right in. They're so delicious. Okay. Did you just hear my knees pop? Sorry about that. I'm getting old. <laughs> oh. So, I was going to see if I could pull up some more Parisian carrots. I can use in our dinner this week. There's another one, but it's small. And it also kind of helps to thin them a little bit. But look how pretty that one is. Bright orange. Oh, and the smell. Oh, they smell delicious. You want to smell? Good, huh? Don't, don't put it back in. <laughs> so, maybe we'll make some kind of pot roast or some type of stew this week and uh we can use our little carrots that we're pulling up right now there we go that's a decent harvest that one looks funny <laughs> it's starting to get long that one's pretty all right so let's take a look at the next bed. In this bed I have my cabbages that I said I was going to harvest, but I didn't, I got busy. So I guess now is a good time. And um, I'm just gonna go get something so I can cut that cabbage. Okay, got my knife and of course I don't have a tripod. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under here and I'm just gonna cut from down there. All right, so here's my cabbage. And uh, I think I'll go in the house and weigh it. All right, I got my scale. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Kids need to wipe off the counter, don't look at that. Okay, so it's on grams. I'm just gonna change it to pounds. And let's put our cabbage on it. Zeroed out. There you go. One pound, 12 ounces of cabbage. Feel good about that. And what about my carrots? About four and a half ounces of carrots. So let's say about two pounds of vegetables. So I'm pr very proud of ourselves here. I'd like to, of course, thank Jehovah for making it grow. And, oh, well, that's all I got for today. Look at all the dirt in there. Oh, gotta clean this cabbage and figure out what I'm gonna do to cook it. So that'll be a next video, I guess. Oh, thank you for watching. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember, just grow something. Go ahead and say it. Make sure you subscribe, hit a like, and hit that bell. Okay. Bye. Bye.